Injuries in baseball are just a part of the game, but some are so bizarre that they reach legendary status. From Mark DeRosa straining his left oblique while high-fiving Bryce Harper after Harper stole home, Chris Coughlin tearing his meniscus after hitting teammate Wes Helms with a shaving cream pie, to Kendry Morales breaking his leg on a celebratory jump at home plate after hitting a walk-off grand slam, on-the-field injuries can be odd. Sometimes, injuries happen off the field and have nothing to do with baseball, although certainly apocryphal. Flamethrower Joel Zamaya's 103 mile per hour fastball famously was shelved during the playoffs due to right wrist inflammation from playing too much Guitar Hero. However, one man has them all beat. 1990 slugger Glenn Allen Hill. Born in sunny Santa Cruz, California in 1965, Hill was selected by the Toronto Blue Jays in the ninth round of the 1983 amateur draft out of high school. As he worked his way through the minors, he had shown flashes of prodigious power. At 24, he made his major league debut on July 31, 1989, where he started in right, went two for three with an RBI, and drew a walk. Hill completed that first respectable season batting 288, but had a bit of a sophomore slump and began a career as a journeyman righty, bouncing from club to club on a regular basis. Hill played for Cleveland, the Cubs, the Giants, the Mariners, the Yankees, and the Angels during his 12-year career. He enjoyed some of his biggest success in 1995, swiping 25 bases, mashing 24 home runs, and playing in 132 games. A beloved clubhouse presence with a great smile, Glen Allen is famously known for two things. The first of which is one of the longest home runs hit in the pre-StatCast era. May 11, 2000. At the tail end of Hill's career, he showed one of those flashes of power, but with a little extra help from a friendly wind. At Wrigley Field in Chicago, pitchers that take the bump in the friendly confines first look at the flags in center field to know what kind of a day they're in for. Flags are still a normal day. Flags are blowing in. Throw four seamers and let the wind blow them back to the outfielder for harmless cans of corn. Flags blowing out? Get ready to add a full point to your ERA. In the second inning of a day game, Brewers hurler Steve Woodard made a mistake down the middle to Hill, a mistake that Hill did not miss. Wind or not, this was no cheap shot. The ball sailed over the basket over the stands, and over the street to nestle into the rooftop of 1032 Waveland Avenue. The estimated distance, 522 feet. Closer to about 790. The other thing Hill is most famous for is one of the strangest off-the-field injuries in modern lore, rivaled only by Rue Boidel's punching of a lion. Early in Hill's career in 1990, he was with the Blue Jays and under enormous pressure to perform at baseball's highest level as a rookie. Anxiety ridden and not sleeping well, Hill went to bed one night where he began having a terrible nightmare. He was being attacked by spiders, crawling all over his body. In a fugue state of half nightmare, half wakefulness, Hill stumbled out of bed and began to walk haphazardly, crashing into a glass table and falling down a flight of stairs. When he awoke, he was covered in cuts and bruises, shards of glass, and lacerations that kept him out for a full 15 days. Returning to the game, the rookie was greeted in the locker room by his teammates, who gave him a new nickname, Spider-Man. Asked about the event later, Hill was quoted, I'm uneasy with spiders, but I don't think it was spiders that caused the nightmare. Spiders just happened to be what I dreamt about that night. It could have been about a car that kept running over me. It could have been about, you know, caterpillars. The razzing didn't stop there, of course. That summer, the film Arachnophobia hit theaters, which of course Hill was asked to review by reporters, to which Hill gave it two out of five stars. Probably rated it a bit high. These days, Hill manages bringing his knowledge of the game to younger players. During his time with Isotopes, a AAA affiliate for the Rockies, he took part in a photo shoot for a set of baseball cards featuring pets and players. Hill's featured pet, a cuddly tarantula. Yeah, that's right. I'm bad. 